Hello, students. Um, this is a article of the of the current production. Uh, we're going to uh, do some exercise on reading. So, if we look at on the radial network, we have two relays: relay one and relay T. So, and we have four on the end. Um, so, how do we achieve or how do we calculate the operating times or, uh, of the relay and optimal gradient between the, the relays for fault at remote end for the fault on here. How do we calculate the trick time of each relay? So if we assume that the maximum loading current is 55 amps, so current on this pass before the, the fault is 25 amps, and the CT ratio of each relay is 100 to 5 amps, meaning that this CT will read 100 amp primary and 5 amp, amp in the secondary side. And then the second guarantee is three times or 200% times the loading current. The loading current is 25, so 25 times 2 would be 50 amp. And then suggesting a TMS value of 0 0.1. And with the standard inverse and the circuit breaker of 50 millisecond relay technology of numerical relay, and CT ratio of 10 percent, um, we can calculate the related time. So, for example, on here we can just use this kind of formula, the standard inverse 0 0.1 for 1.59 kilo, which is the fourth current divided by the CT ratio divided by the setting current. And if we use TMS value, which is the minimum value of 0 0.1. And then we have a tip time of 1.5 seconds. So the T1 will be 1.5 seconds. And now we need to calculate the gradient margin so that the relay 2 can provide the backup protection. Basically, if this relay 1 fails, after how long will relay T trip? That, at that time, the delay time, we call it the gradient margin. So to achieve, to find out the gradient margin, we need to use this formula where we got this parameter from the table. So since our uh, relay is relay technology, which is numerical relay, so we use this parameter. Okay, so now what we can use is the gradient margin of time, which is two times um, the 5% basic error, 5% plus 10% of the CT ratio, which is this one, plus times 1.5, which is this T, the three time of the relay, uh, plus 50, 50 millisecond or the, the second record three time, plus 20, 0 0.02, which is the overshoot time, and plus 0 0.03 is the safe margin, which is 0 0.4 second or 400 millisecond. Uh, overall, from the standard, it is given that this the grade margin is 0 0.3. Uh, so our calculation is not too bad. It's just assumption for uh, learning purpose. So now, assume that this grade margin is 0 0.4 second. So what we need to do is add this 0 0.4 with the related time of 1.5, so that the total will be 1.9 second, meaning that for this fault, this relay is expected to trip at 1.5 second T1. And then if this relay one fails, relay two will provide a backup after 1.9 seconds. Yeah. So now what we can learn from this is relay one will provide faster operation, which is 1.5 second, and relay two provide a delayed operation. Of course, it has to wait for relay one first to trip. Okay, so the main um, detection is R1 for fault at the end, and uh, R2 will provide backup for this fault. Okay, so in that in the in this page, for example, how do we achieve optimal gradient of relay one and relay two? Say we have two faults now: fault at feeder two, fault at feeder one. We have already discussed for faults at feeder one. 
So we need to determine relay two setting for local fault on feeder two on here. Assume the assumptions are still the same. Um, and for the trick time of relay one is 1.5 second. We have already discussed about this. And the gradient margin is 0 0.4 and T2 is 1.9 second. Or relay two will provide backup after 1.9 second. So to achieve or to determine relay setting for the fault on here, we go. We need to go through the few steps. For example, the first step is to find the TMS value T two or T two of one point nine seconds for IF or fault current at the remote end. So we need to find out what is the TMS value. So to that one, we need to do one point nine seconds because we know that this relay is providing backup at one point nine seconds. So let's. Uh, the standard equation on here, the remote fault, and everything is as the same times the TMS. So if we calculate this all value, which is 1.9 as it is, and then if we calculate this as it is, it's 15 and times TMS. So, um, so for example, if we ask in the TMS, if we substitute the TMS, the TMS will be 1.9 divided by 15, which is 0 0.127. Or at unity per uh, TMS, this would be like 1.9 divided by 15, which is this one. Okay, so the TMS is 0 0.127. So we can choose higher, uh, usually higher than this value, 0 0.13. Even we can choose 1 point, 0 0.15 or 0 0.18, um, depending on the, the relay setting resolution. Then what we could do is we can just calculate, if we choose this 0 0.13, then we can just do on here. So 15 times 0 0.13. Three time. Because on here, if we just look on this one, what we need is we need to update this value. So 15 times the new TMS, the TMS is 0 0.13. So now we have 1.3. So the, trip, the new trip time is 1.95. So now this time is updated with 1.995. It's just adjusted. And then the next step is, because this is at, uh, for fault for the remote end. Now the step two is calculate the relay two trip time for local fault. So now we come back to the question on here, on this local fault. So yes, we have the TMS value is 0 0.12 or we can choose 0 0.13, it's matter. Then we can calculate on here. This should be um, as 0 0.12, but this should be 0 0.13 basically. Usually this has to be higher than this, this value. Okay, so now we just need to change the fault current on here. Instead of 1.59, we just change it to 2.12, and then the rest is the same. So now, if we calculate this one, it is 9.25 times the TMS. We know the TMS is 0 0.13, which is this one. This is a type of error, basically. 0 0.13. Then the uh, the trip time will be 1.2 second. Okay. So this relay 2 will trip for local fault at 1.2 second, which is faster than anyone because the fault magnet is higher than the fault magnet of the relay one. What we can see now is, okay, this relay two will trip for local faults at 1.2 seconds, but it will provide operation either 1.9 or 1.95 for remote faults. And then what we can also look at is, if we look at the fault at feeder one on here, Relay one will trip at 1.5 second, which is this one, and then relay two will provide at. Uh, obviously, this should be 1.95 or 1.9. Okay, ignore the table. So basically, this um, um, the relay one or uh, this one, the maximum trip time is 1.5, or the fastest trip time. And when the fault is on local fault, 
the relay will trip at 1.2 second. So this is how we achieve optimal uh, grading of relays. Thank you. Okay, um, so now if we look at on this plot in the chart, what we can do is the first thing is uh, we can just look at uh, how uh, the tail is plotting. So uh, for relay fault at either one, well, we know that relay one will trip at 1.5 seconds and relay two will provide 1.95. And for fault at relay two, uh, on feeder two, relay two will provide operation at 1.2 seconds. So the way we can just do it like this, it's just like same thing as uh, we had to do in the first test. Okay, thank you.